for you that have the touch rail book or you'll see it on the charts, there are points on the back that are called spinal reflex. These were developed by Dr. Thee. I was working with him when he was figuring this out. It was very exciting. And then he added, um, he had me help with designing the new charts and the new books. In fact, a lot of these pictures are actually drawings of me doing uh, tests with people. And then this, particularly the stand-up test, he commissioned me to uh, figure out the stand-up tests. And then they put them in the books and on the charts. Now, the Spinal reflexes are when there is bilateral weakness in a muscle. We're not testing muscles today. It's great to learn, but I learned from teaching this for almost 40 years. If you try and learn all the, the 14 muscles in your first class, it's real daunting. It's overwhelming. It's too much information. I'm giving you the shortcuts to find where energy is blocked. Then you want to learn the muscles next. Let's say if you had a bilateral, in this case, we're uh, doing the sacrospinalis. If you have bilateral sacrospinalis weakness, then you get on these spinal reflexes and you go up and down. Um, in fact, I'll, I'll show this when, um, when Erica, when you come up, I'll demonstrate it so they can see it. But that's what you're doing in any time you have bilateral weakness, which is you know the next step when you learn the actual muscle tests, that's when you would use that technique if they're both weak. And then often just doing that alone, it, what it does is it clears a spinal fixation. For your chiropractors, you know about spinal fixations. In AK, they actually do an adjustment for that. But Dr. Thee, chiropractor, found, oh, just doing this reflex, you're right on the spinous process, going up and down on it in wherever it's indicated, will actually strengthen the bilateral weakness. Uh, spinal reflex points, would they be useful for someone with scoliosis? Very possibly. Um, you can, you can circuit locate the points and see what they get. So it's a very simple technique to do, um, just rubbing up and down on the spine. And again, you can put continuous pressure. So again, I can take an arm. It doesn't matter the angle. This is for the visual purposes. We'll get your hair over here. And I can just start up here, and I can put continuous pressure. <clears throat> so pushing, pushing, pushing. You're meeting my pressure, okay? So as I put continuous pressure, again about six pounds of pressure, I then start circuit locating down the spine and going right on the spinous process. And let's see if anything goes. So far, okay, there's something. I'll go below it and I'll come up to it. And there's, a, there, there's where it is, okay? So right in here. So, um, I don't know if you have any scoliosis, do you? I have slight. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Yeah, it's kind of like just a little curving over here. So right around where the curve is, okay, we'll call it, uh, roll down there, we'll call it dead man's curve. <laughs> okay, so that's where I'm going up and down on those spinous processes. So yeah, you could do that for scoliosis. And let's see what we got after this. Okay, so I'll touch again and ready and hold and there we go. Okay, so I uh, think we're clear. All right, so that's again what I'm doing just to review. I'm pushing continuously rather than push, 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 push. I just put continuous pressure and I slowly go down the spinous process and that would be a way of discerning whether they have uh, the need for a spinal reflex technique. And what he would do, for you that are chiropractors in the audience, he would bend the knee and he would push on the hamstrings and he would just touch areas of the spine and then push, push, push. And wherever they would go weak, that would be the indication of where he needed to do the adjustment. So he'd do the adjustment. Let's say if it's you know, one of these where he's you know, pushing and enter thoracics, and then he would check it again, and then it would be um, strong when he did the ad adjustment, okay?